so today in the topic of ship handling i will be talking about transverse thrust or the concept of transverse thrust and i'll talk about the effect it has on a right-handed propeller ship when going ahead and astern and impact it has on ship handling then we'll also talk about twin screw ships that means ships which have two propellers and then we'll take the discussion into controllable pitch propellers and where does transverse thrust fit into uh, those propellers or ships which have cpps or controllable pitch propellers all right so let's get started with the concept of transverse thrust because this is one of the very important concepts if you have to understand how to handle ships all right so transverse thrust is the effect where the ship turns to one side by itself when an ahead or a stern movement is given the effect is different on a right-handed propeller and a left-handed propeller all right so we'll start with the effect on a right-handed propeller ship when going ahead all right so it is evident during tests that the speed or flow of water into a propeller area is uneven in velocity a slight upward flow from the hull into the propeller area puts slightly more pressure onto the down sweeping propeller blades this is more profound in shallow waters hence the helical discharge from the propeller creates a larger pressure on the port side of the rudder due to the larger pressure on the port side of the rudder a vessel moving ahead will shear to port when the engine movement is given so if you didn't understand this i'll sh i'll explain this process with the help of a drawing later on so the effect is stronger at slow speed because at higher speed of the vessel the lateral resistance of the water builds up and restricts any turning of the vessel All right. so try and understand the astern what happens when it's going astern and then i'll show you two drawings which will help you understand what was written above while going astern in a right-handed propeller the lateral resistance is more when going astern hence the transverse thrust is more now why is this because the helical discharge or flow from a right-handed propeller working astern splits and passes forward towards either side of the hull on the port quarter this discharge is inclined down and away from the hull whereas on starboard quarter it is directed up and onto the hull now it is evident during test and trials of maneuvering that the force of water striking upwards onto the starboard quarter is much more than the force of water striking down the port quarter due to the difference of pressure on port and starboard quarter the stern of the vessel cans to port causing bow to can to starboard when the astern movement is given the effect is present only from the moment propeller wash starts hitting the ship's hull astern so in which case do you have the maximum thrust when the vessel is going ahead at one to two knots but engines are going astern so maximum transverse thrust is achieved with the engines going astern but the vessel is still making some residual headway say about one knot ahead speed because at that time the pivot point of the vessel is still located forward and producing a good turning lever now for those of you who didn't understand what's going on here so basically if there is a vessel and that vessel has a propeller right now as the vessel goes ahead all right as the vessel goes ahead there is some water which is pushed back from the propeller this is called the propeller wash this water is pushed and some of this water goes towards the ship's sides 
all right now when the when when the vessel is going ahead in such cases it is said that the bow cans to port the bow cans to port because there is more resistance here there is more lateral resistance here on the port side of the vessel because of which the stern can't can to port so what happens is because there is less lateral resistance here due to the build of water less resistance here the vessel's stern cans to starboard and therefore as a result the bow cans to port all right so this is what happens when the vessel is going ahead the opposite thing happens when the vessel is going astern so what happens when the vessel is going astern so again i'll draw a vessel here and the vessel has a propeller and again the propeller when the vessel is going astern pushes water out this is called the helical discharge that i was talking about now it is said that when the vessel is going astern the lateral resistance is even more and this time what happens is there is more resistance that builds up in the starboard quarter there is more resistance here in the starboard quarter because of which the vessel stern cannot can to starboard so because there is less resistance in the port side the vessel stern cans to port and as a result the vessel's bow cans to starboard and therefore the vessel when an astern movement is given cans to starboard and the vessel cans to port when a head movement is given due to transverse thrust all right so i hope that was clearer to you now what happens when there are twin screws from maneuvering or two propellers present on a ship one of the main disadvantages of a single screw propeller vessel is that rate of turn is very poor while maneuvering in the harbors and other close quarter situations this further gets affected by strong winds or currents if present therefore vessels which regularly operate in harbor conditions are fitted with twin screws for ease of maneuvering when we say twin screws we mean two propellers as shown in the diagram the only disadvantage of such a vessel is that the rudder efficiency is lost or rather lesser than single screw vessels and cost of installation and maintenance is more these vessels have twin engines and twin thrust blocks so these are your thrust blocks as you can see which are located equidistant from the center line when the thrust on both blocks is absolutely same vessel will move ahead in a straight line if the thrust is more on one block the vessel turns to the opposite side therefore to turn a twin screw vessel the thrust should be more on the side opposite to the intended turn whereas the engine of the turning side can be either stopped or reversed propellers are outward turning when the vessel is moving ahead that is starboard propeller is right handed and port propeller is left handed there will not be any transverse thrust on such a vessel propellers are used for turning only at slow speed in these vessels rudders are used when turning is required at moderate or high speeds now let's start to talk about thrust experienced on controllable pitch propellers where only the pitch of the propeller turns or changes and the advantages and disadvantages of such a vessel with regard to ship handling so controllable pitch propellers only the pitch of the propeller blade changes to move the ship ahead and astern so in a controllable pitch propeller or cpp the main engine is always clutched in and the shaft is continuously turning the thrust is created by changing the pitch of the blades higher pitch means higher thrust mostly these ships have left handed propellers the advantages of such ships are continuous turning of the shaft gives the convenience of changing the thrust from ahead to astern in a very short time 
the intermediate thrust can be easily chosen by changing the pitch of the propeller. There is no need to start and stop the shaft for maneuvering. Shaft generator can be run at all times due to constant RPM. The disadvantages of such a vessel is large boss is required to house the pitch changing mechanism. Loss of propeller efficiency is there due to reduced area of the blades as compared to fixed pitch propellers. The extent of the transverse thrust is unpredictable. Maintenance of the system is extensive and costly because of numerous hydraulic leaks which develop with the age of the vessel. Mechanical failures at various points cause shifting of zero pitch positioning of the pitch controller. That is when the pitch is assumed to be zero, it is not actually zero and the vessel may be making slight headway or sternway when berthing. Finally, a CPP going astern is less effective than a fixed one and therefore speed reduction should be started sooner than a conventional fixed pitch propeller. So in this video, we talked about uh, transverse thrust and the effect it has on different kind of propellers. So we talked about right handed propellers, we talked about twin screw ships or twin propellers and we talked about controllable pitch propellers or CPPs. So I hope the understanding of transverse thrust is much better with this video and you will be able to answer questions related to this topic uh, that is the effect of transverse thrust on ship handling what is transverse thrust and how does it affect vessels with different kind of propellers let me know what you thought about this video and i will see you soon with my next video bye guys